Hello and welcome back to Tavern Heroes. Before the show starts, we wanted to take a couple seconds to explain some changes with the show besides a slightly different cast. First, this campaign takes place in ancient Greece. The player characters will be walking among myths and legends. As we tell this story, please note that for generations, Greek myth was passed down orally and wasn't written down for years. Many versions of these myths exist. That being said, the version that we will use in the campaign are the versions that we have been told or read ourselves. I think we have all waited too long to roll these dice again, so without further ado, take it away, Abby. So, share the same vision. They're in a dark cave in an astral form. They see each other, but are not able to speak with one another. In the cave, they see a young child spinning a wheel of golden thread. It goes to a middle-aged woman in white. The woman would then measure the string for the last woman in the room. The third woman is an elderly woman who looks to be on the cusp of death. Oh, shit. These are the sisters of fate, I think. <laughs> I like, the, I like the, the realization you had. I did a lot of research just, for this campaign. Just I, I, loved, I loved your, your, your face slowly started to process it more and more. It's like... <laughs> uh, the sisters of fate. I know this. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> I know nothing about Chris. Uh, Do you know? She would hang the new string, what seems like billions of other strings, on the roof of the cave. While on the way, she would look at certain ones and clip them in half. Once the string was cut, it would turn gray and disappear into the earth, as if it was going deep, deep, deep down into an unknown place. Each string took about seven seconds to cut and moved from point A to point B. The woman took, worked perfectly in sync, and they have been doing this for centuries. centuries. Well, we can't talk. We're, yep. we're still in the... We haven't even introduced our characters. That's, I think, the idea. I think no, that... you're not moving, introducing yet. I yeah. told you guys there was yeah. a certain time that I will help you She, she has a plan. I promise, I have a plan. I'm assuming it's going to be like the Spider-Man meme, oh, where we oh, all wake up, we're eating breakfast, and we all point at each other for recognizing each other. Are the strings... You can't wake up. Are the strings <laughs> labeled with names or anything like that? Okay. Yikes. I'm probably not going to find anything. <laughs> You're not very perceptive. I don't think I even have a modifier to my perception. Can I just take a check. general look about the room, see if there's anything else that, like, hiding around the room? Listen, we roll dice here. I rolled a four. You rolled four, okay. <laughs> and to be fair, you guys probably you guys don't know who these people are. Yeah. 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 Yes, I do. They're the sisters of fate. Listen, if I know, then I'm sure my character knows. So that that would have been a total of 21. 21? Total of 21. No, they're just really shiny streets. Uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else in the room? Because that's what I was looking. Is there anything besides what you described? Uh, there seems to be a very far off entrance, kind of like behind you guys. But um, other than that, no, there's just the spinning wheel, the sisters, and the billions of billions. Can we see each other? Yes, you can see each other. So I wave to all three of them. <laughs> <laughs> are we right next to each other or are we kind of scattered about or is it like we all came into the entrance? Uh you guys are kind of like in a semicircle kind of deal. Okay. So how much freedom freedom of movement is there? You can move. Uh, can I interact with things around me? No. Right through them. You are in an astral form. Is it clear whether or not they know that we're there? Or can, is there not really a good way to know? Uh, it doesn't seem that they have noticed you yet. Let's keep it that way. <laughs> we'll stealth that out ancient. Well, I don't, want, I don't want them to just, like, see us and then be like, I'm gonna cut your string now. More closely what's going on. Sorry? I'd like to examine more closely what's going on. Walk up to them, and you can see that uh, the younger one, she's sitting at the wheel, uh, but she's been there for a long time. You know, her dress is kind of ratted, um, and she moves her hands with expert pre precision, so she knows exactly what she's doing. The younger or the middle-aged one kind of 
She got a stick. It's got some notches on it. Um, because you know, rulers, magic rulers. <laughs> <laughs> got some notches on it. Um, and sorry, consulting notes. <laughs> um, and so she measures it to a certain length, to a certain amount of notches, and then she cuts it and hands it off to the elderly woman who simply just takes it and as if magic putty or something or tape is holding onto it, she sticks it to the ceiling. And they just do this over and okay. over again. And it takes about seven seconds to get from point A to point B. Is there any differentiation that's discernible in any way between the strings? Uh, some are really short, some are really long, and um, some of them are black. What are the ones that aren't black? Sorry? Gold, was it? Gold. The ones yeah. that aren't black? What I know There's only a select handful that are black, but they're already attached to the ceiling. And you said we can't interact, it's just that we phase right through it. Have they said anything to each other? No. They're just moving right in sync. They just move along. Do they look happy? Yeah. It's like an average day's work. You know, you're working in a factory and you just keep doing the same shit every day. Oh, I'd be miserable. <laughs> <laughs> I was miserable. <laughs> Is that all you guys want to do? Or? Do I, don't think I know anything about what's happening? I don't know real history. That is the sentence I've been waiting to say. She didn't, you didn't <laughs> tell me to roll history, you just said you don't know who they are. Yeah, you never asked if you knew who they were. <laughs> huh? Because I roll religion instead. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a better modification, I think. Thirteen. Thirteen? Religion. Okay, yeah, you, so you know that these are the three sisters of fate. Oh my god. Well, he knows. We... Wow, yeah, he knows. Y'all don't know. <laughs> So, um, and you why know, did I just say the Sisters of Fate? You can't... You can mouth it. You can mouth it, <laughs> yeah, we can't. Yeah. yeah um, it, it wouldn't be all yeah. <laughs> Can I roll perception to see if I can figure <laughs> out what he's mouthing? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Six. Six. <laughs> Six. 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 You understood the... <laughs> you saw his mouth move and you're like, what? <laughs> Speaking to my, old, my good ear. <laughs> Um, so you actually know that, you know, they're the, the sisters of fate. Um, the youngest one that looks like a child is called Clodo. Uh, I'm going to slaughter, slaughter these names because I was going to practice saying them and then I never got the chance. Sorry about that. It's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Everything's fine. And then the woman in white is Lachius and Anatropos. Anatropos. And she's the elderly lady. Hmm. The youngest one... Uh, she just makes your guys' lifelines, essentially, and that's the thread. The woman in white, aka the middle-aged one, she is the one who decides how long your life will be and all the particular events that will take place. And uh, the elderly lady, Anatropos, will end your life by cutting your string in half. What did the first one do again? Uh, she simply, like, creates... Oh, just kind of. Um, oh, okay, I see. How many of the black strings are there? A handful. <laughs> that means she doesn't have an exact number. Um, you can roll. Roll insight. This is when you ask him to roll and hope he rolls low, so you don't need to come up with an answer. <laughs> Eight. Eight. Um, you have a feeling that they're connected to different beings, but you don't know what exactly those beings are. Are there at least four that are longer than the others? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's Sorry. a whole variation of a lot of strings. <laughs> so, I'm gonna presume that those are either half demons or half gods. Okay, we might Are there demons we might in Greek, Greek, Greek mythology? Like we, you need us too. Yeah. No, no, it's fine. This is information I wanted you guys to get to. You're fine. Um, okay. So this all I happened actually, after we just went to sleep at a tavern, you said, right? Yep, you guys are all at an inn, whether you were teleported there, magically, or you were um, traveling in it. Just kind of Interesting. Yeah. One heck of a dream. As you guys are all moving about the space and interacting and observing everything, 
the young woman in white turns to you and speaks to you. Who? All, the, all four of us at once? Yeah. So I imagine mean, you guys are kind of in the same vicinity. And she says to you, your fates have been intertwined since birth. Only you five, because I plan on Spencer being here, if not four. <laughs> <laughs> is that what she says? Is that what the? That's the DM note. It would probably, that. it would probably be easy to add Spencer in at a later point, even with it just being the four of us or whatever. So I'm just gonna say five, and that'll be ominous because there's only four of you in the stream, so you guys will be confused. Um. Spencer never joins back again, and it's like, who's the fifth person? In, in that case, she'll need to make an NPC. We'll just recon and go from there. Um, DMPC. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I had wrote this with. Thinking Spencer was going to be here. So. I think, you know, they I changed their face and died before they reached us. Yeah, exactly. I had a, you five, uh, snip, okay, four. <laughs> <laughs> I literally had, like, an hour, like, two hours notice of Spencer not being able to make yeah. it tonight, so, yeah. Okay, only you five can save us. Remember this and go forth. And then the other two join in. Their voices boom as they speak in unison, saying, Death will cogeal. When prey becomes predator, thus magma festers in its craggy bodies, while frames of former masters rise from Gaia's uh, bindings and final breaths return to prior resting places. Only through the sweet release of death will the world, will the world be mended. Double, double toil and trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Would you guys like me to repeat that to you or send it to you? I'd probably just send it. Send it. Okay. Uh, once they are done speaking, you guys feel a gust of wind press against your bodies, and no matter how hard you try to fight it, you're swept back into your rooms and into your bodies. Not even a nat 20 could Not save you. <laughs> Talk about an out-of-body experience. And now you guys are back in your rooms, and you're waking up. Is it morning now? Yes, it's morning. <laughs> Well, I'm expecting I'm expecting us to get down and start eating breakfast. It's like Spider-Man me just pointing at each other like, wait a minute. Um, <laughs> as you guys wake up, you guys smell the nice aroma of eggs and bacon and some freshly cooked bread coming up through the door, hopefully guiding you toward breakfast. <laughs> well, when I wake up, I go through my morning routine of polishing my chain mail before going down for breakfast. All right. Anyone else want to join him? Have we seen each other yet, or are we just kind of doing our own things right now? So he's headed down. As you go down, there is a familiar person in white as your waitress who leads you to a table with six chairs. Interesting. Okay. Do do I know you? Do I know you? That is to be determined. And she walks away, saying, stay here, please. I... <laughs> have she seated me? Yeah, she had okay. sat you at the table. I, I'll when make... I said she took you to the table, she okay. sat you at the table. I'll, I'll wake up with... Because if she had me seated me, I was just going to stand at attention next to the table. Okay. <laughs> no, she, she seats you at the table, saying, like, please sit down. <laughs> please, um, you're embarrassing yourself. Just sit down. <laughs> That was fun. That was fun. I liked it. My, for my campaign, I had an interesting way to start. If you know, we actually got to try to figure out and actually vote, but I think you had unanimous vote even before we started doing. Yeah, Jenna actually um, had originally seen that scene because I was writing it before we invited Jenna. How much do you know? That. That. that? Yeah. After this, it's all me. Yep. It was. I actually mm. had to write. Yeah, she did. Oh, so you've heard it before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but she's going to play no metagaming. Nope. <laughs> so, um. We need to get some Greek history books. Well, fun fact, Jordan and I, here's a plug-in real quick. <laughs> um, some, at some point we're going to start recording Greek mythos for everyone and yeah. telling. We're everyone. trying to think of the name of the series yeah. and the topics of the first episode. Um. But we are planning on having it won't be on the Tower Heroes YouTube channel. It'll be on. Um, Argus One Hundred One Media. Argus One Entertainment okay. channel. 
And this time I do mean channels. It'll actually probably I'm be the only series. Mythographics. All of a sudden I'm going to actually make graphics for it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you didn't like Madden like three weeks. Oh, cool. Once the I'm whole getting new, new Apple products drop. I'm getting a whole new iPad in a couple weeks also. Um, <laughs> I just got a whole new iPad. So I don't own an iPad. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Words are hard. What was I saying? I think we heard the same thing. So, <laughs> so, we are planning on, it won't always be in line with the campaign proper. So, um, the first episode probably won't be, it'll probably be like a, the origin of Greek mythos. I'm not sure what Abby has planned for that. Yeah, it's it's the origin story of how Greek mythology essentially started, Kronos and all that fun details. They'll be probably 20 to 30 minutes around there. Um, and if we do mention something that was in the campaign, we will provide link backs, but it will not be excluded. Like, you have to watch them both to understand what's going on. You can either just watch the show, watch Tower of Heroes, watch whatever we decide to call the show, or both. Please do both. <laughs> um, with that, <laughs> okay. we're good. Kids or as, we, as you go downstairs, Jordan, the lady in white, greets you as well. Um, and she walks you to the same table as a certain half-elf is sitting at. You guys may introduce your characters. Well, hello there. I have to be at a, at a weird angle for this. <laughs> You seem familiar. Well, you beat me to that. I was going to say you look familiar also. Did you happen to have a strange Reason? vision? Thank you. <laughs> well then. Well, I suppose that explains it. I, I had some Please describe Do you want me to come down to like break up the awkwardness? <laughs> Oh, so I'll have to do this again for the others that are not there yet? <laughs> no, no, we just we do have eyes. Yeah. yeah, I guess. I just want your guys' descriptions. I'm kind of doing this a okay. critical world style. Okay. So, as he walks down, he sees a unusually tall half-elf with more human features than is common. How tall? <laughs> Half-elves are usually a bit taller than humans, right? So like what, six foot? Seven, 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 eight. That's quite a bit taller than humans. <laughs> yes, I'm tall for a half. I don't know how tall half of a secretly a pro basketball player. <laughs> <laughs> <Right here. laughs> <laughs> when he slam dunks, he just goes. Yeah, yeah with how short I am, I don't know what basketball is. <laughs> you are the ball. <laughs> Half-elves are usually five to six, or five to six feet tall. Yeah. Probably closer to six, seven. Maybe about seven foot. There you go. And so what you're saying is you're handsome. And tall. Roll a, roll a d20 and we'll tell you how handsome. <laughs> five. <laughs> I don't know, you're a pretty homely man. It is low rows are good, right? <laughs> That's how many people throw up every time they see you. Maybe in his mind, he thinks he's so freaking hot. He has a, but he has he's a, not actually. His ego is huge. Yeah. He's, pro he's probably, uh, his god must be Hephaestus, right? Ah, haha, Greek joke. Because <laughs> Hephaestus is ugly, right? <laughs> yeah, he is. Uh, technically, he is only ugly because he's, like, not as perfect as the rest of the Greek gods, and he walks with a limp. And then they threw him down the stairs because he's ugly and married him to Aphrodite because she's too beautiful. Oh, they equal each other they out. They equal each other. <laughs> like Abby the quiet, like the introvert, extrovert couples. How do you think Aphrodite parties. felt about that? She's like, man, I gotta date the ugly one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> dating, like or, uh, or Mary, yeah, you're right. <laughs> like, uh, Welcome to Greek mythos. Yeah, to be fair, she was created out of dick foam, so. Yeah. I mean, the cause of 99% of the Greek mythos. She's like, man, couldn't I just do it with Zeus, Zeus like literally everyone else? She's like, ma'am, why couldn't I just do it with oh, Zeus like literally everyone else? Are you standing or sitting? Are you just awkwardly standing there still? <laughs> sits there in an immaculately polished silver plated chainmail. Did chainmail exist in Greek times? I'll allow it. I'll allow it. They wouldn't have the technology for it. Pretty much what I'm saying is like, 
D and D mix. I just have the 400 BCE in there, so we could put it in someone's backstory. That is the only reason I have that timestamp in there. So pretty much, it's the Greek, or not? It's the Gre ancient Greek map, but we're combining the D and D realm into it, and you're using yeah. the Greek gods and goddesses as your pantheon. And along the collarbone, you can see a glowing tattoo of a symbol of Hephaestus. Guess wow. that spoils that. Well, okay then. <laughs> Let's pretend we didn't hear that. <laughs> I mean, he. he I was right. I mean, however you want to. So yeah. it, it's not like the whole thing's visible. Just the upper edge of it is visible. You know, well, I, I meant you flat out said. Like, Kyle it's called it out. I was that making was a, a joke. That was a guess. <laughs> Your guess was high. I didn't. I just told the myth of Hephaestus and Aphrodite. I never confirmed so, anything. You did nail it. I know. I'm impressed with myself. What is it? Twelve choices and we got it right. Twelve choices. Uh, fifteen is what was on my thing. Fifteen. <laughs> because I originally was going to have you guys roll for it, and you were going to use a you ten can... and a d six because a number one would not be possible. An innately carved crossbow lies on his back and some forged tools on his belt. That everything? Yes. Okay. So. A oh, mace on the belt as well. Okay. So sitting down across from you. Stuff. Sitting across from you now is a five foot tall high elf. Um which is the low end of the heights of a high elf. Um, <laughs> Try to make yourself an elf? More like a low elf. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> um, and... Continue. Um, <laughs> we have lots to get to. <laughs> so, she has light brown hair, um, blue green eyes, and on her shoulder, Sitting on top of a leather patch on her tunic is a hawk. I mean, I didn't think about my character's like visual appearance to that much. Oh boy, I gotta come up with something real quick. Jenna can go down next, I guess. If, if she would like. The Unless you don't want to, then I can. I, mean, I don't care. Um, my character's freaking out silently. My character is freaking out silently because. Make sure the mics are on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mine's automatically on. Yeah. Oh, mine was off. Switch on the, switch on the top. <laughs> we should have done a mic check. <laughs> That's why <laughs> you were quiet. I had turned it so off while I was on eating. Top, it, is it is on. Yep. Oh, you might want to move a little closer. Mine's been on. Somewhat decent pickup, but not too decent pickup. Yeah. Yeah. The only ones with amazing pickup are those two. Yeah. I'm the most important. Okay. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. My character is silently freaking out. Like, what the fuck am I doing in this tavern right now? This was not where I was originally. Um, so she kind of walks down and is like, what's going on? Um, that's pretty much it. What else is happening, DM? Are you going to go downstairs? Yeah, I'm going to sit downstairs. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. Um. As they approach the table, I just got, oh, another one of us. I'm that makes be three. We're table first. Yeah, you weren't led to the two Yeah, so. Yeah. Well, calm so yourself. We, we probably, do we see her coming down from coming down the stage? Just let her walk to the table. I'm trying to validate Nate. I mean, you. Yeah, there, it's open, but yeah, you guys could probably see her, but that doesn't mean that she automatically goes to the table. The lady in white approaches you first and says, "Can you follow me, please?" I suppose. She, uh, says, come, come. She takes you to the table where our high elf and our half elf are sitting. Does anybody want a DP? <laughs> Me, please. Not sponsored. <laughs> Let's, can we? Yep. Sorry, does anybody want a not sponsored Dr. Uh, Pepper? As we, as you walk to the table, you see all the men in the tavern and some of the women slightly just, you know, staring at you in awe. They didn't stare at the tall piece of shit that just came out of you earlier. Is Jenna the actually attractive one? Not me, my character. <laughs> <laughs> just say it. Self deprecating. Woo! 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 Woo!
left it open for me to do, so. He can't always be the punching bag. I won't allow Thank it. you. <laughs> we need to keep you around. Please, uh, describe your character. Describing my character. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my character is a female Kalistar. Uh, instead of being the regular Kalistar, she's actually tan and uh, has black hair. Kind of a mix of blue, green, gray eyes. Um, her hair is pretty long. And got like some shaved on the side stuff going on, but it's kind of braided along the back, so I'm flowy along the sides. And she too has a hawk on her shoulder. Oh. This was not planned, by the way. Uh, she mentioned it, and I was like, Jordan also has a hawk, and we're just like, we're gonna roll with this, but you know. Oh, um, well, she's, she's 5'10", cool. and super fucking attractive. If you couldn't tell by all the men, slap and women looking at has a hawk on shoulder. What? <laughs> <laughs> nice then, hawk. Oh, she's she's super attractive because she's got that like sharp angular look. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, because she's callous dark. Oh. So, 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 oh. Nice hawk. Not particularly. Okay. Sounds familiar, but I'm not I'm blanking out. Are you guys stupid? Ready for Kyle to come down? If Kyle is going to come down. Are you going to come down, Kyle? Uh, no, I'm kind of comfy We're in here. But yes, I come down. <laughs> I walk down the stairs, or right. up the stairs, whatever direction I need to go to. You're in the basement, the dank basement. <laughs> <laughs> it was the only room they had left. Kyle in the back. Well, apparently. <laughs> As you walk down these stairs, uh, if anyone would be in the basement, it would be Jenna, because she got teleported there. Yeah. Uh, so were we all just randomly there at the same time except for Jenna? Uh, as far as I'm picturing, yeah, because y'all all made it in your backstory that you were just going to be at the location, so... No. Well, technically I didn't. I, I didn't. Oh, I didn't I think that I'm fine with it. Yeah, I left it vague on purpose because I didn't know. Um, but as you walk down the steps, the same woman in white, and it seems kind of familiar to you, walks up to you and says, will you come with me, please? Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> and then she leads you to the table where we have are Kalistar, Pyle, and half of the city. All being very awkward. Hmm. <laughs> Good thing I'm here to break we it up. We're just kind of chilling together. <laughs> Which is kind of funny because my character... Is my character? Shoot, wait, hold on a second. Never mind. Forget it. Okay, my character is character. sitting as far away from you as possible. And, and just so we're clear. The full health is shorter than Both the of them or just one of them? <laughs> Both That's of them. Oh, okay. Describe your character for us, please. My character, uh, lo and behold, a dragonborn. Never would have guessed it. A very, a rather tall one, six foot eight, I think. I don't know, something like that. Anyways, he's bronze, uh, so has like fire, I think, abilities. And yeah, we'll get to that later. Anyways, he has silver armor. Is that okay? Silver armor. Okay, he has silver armor on. Not chainmail. It's like, just plated. I guess. How highly polished? How highly polished? It's pretty, it's pretty polished. It's like not like super pristine, but like you can, you can tell he takes good care of it. Um, he has, oh God, I can't remember what weapons I have. Just a second. I mean, we'll find out eventually. We'll find out eventually. Yeah, you don't have to describe those right now. Okay. Oh, maybe I do have chain mail. It's fine. I have an axe and a mace. Okay, there you go. Uh, a couple scars. Um, on his face and arms, and uh, he is smiling. It almost seems like kind of creepy at first, but then he speaks and is not as creepy. So I think I, I think that's an alright description. Would you the like creepy to part is thinking yes. of a dragon smiling. Okay. Well, I believe I've seen you three before. I believe that is what I've been saying. For well, well, excellent. This couldn't have been a coincidence that all of us happened here together, eh? Certainly looks like she doesn't know why she's here. Who? When? And I, I look at the couch. Hello. <laughs> I just so, stare at you. So what did mm. you guys... Say nothing. When did you guys get in? I lost my voice. <laughs> so shall we introduce each ourselves? Of course. I'm Alistar. Nice to meet you, Alistar. Son of Hephaestus. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just funny that like you've already just, revealed just that. <laughs> Just like your previous 
not quite as egotistical as the last one. Oh god, that light character was terrible. No offense. Anything? <laughs> yeah! I mean, he at least took charge when no one else would. Well, nice to meet you. My name is Tovin Draknar. Well, nice to meet you as well. Thank you. And you are? I'm Kelly. Nice to meet you. And you? Quinn. That's all she says. <laughs> <laughs> that's all she wrote. I know that pretty much. <laughs> well, does anyone know why this group has gotten together at all? Well, I believe I could answer that for you. Of course, ask me. Wait. <laughs> Wait, is that the waitress or like? Yeah, that's the waitress. <laughs> Does she just sneak up all behind us? She never left after seeing you down. Oh. I am actually going to um, just call it out straight and say, of course, why not ask the fate? Yes, that is me. You saw oh. me and my sisters in our cave. My other form is there right now. I apparently don't know who you three are. <laughs> Can I explain it to them? No. We'll see what they get. Twelve. History. Okay, also twelve. You know who they are. Total of nineteen. You know who they are. I I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you I thought you looked familiar. Yes, yes. Um. Electo the Fury. <laughs> Different group of sisters. Yes, those are quite the meaner sisters. Um. Thanks for the confusion. <laughs> she seems kind of bitter about that. <laughs> I was joking. I apologize. <laughs> um, our our last guest, who should be joining us shortly, uh, got a little caught up on his way. So, and she were a fifth party member. I don't know why she's not here. She's supposed to be here. I mean, we teleported you. So. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion when you woke up, but I know you're not used to dreams. Yeah, thanks for that. Are they kidding? You just only last night, you piece of shit! The elves <laughs> should be just as confused over that, shouldn't we? What, elves? Elves don't sleep. Yeah, elves just technically meditate. Technically, she said vision. I guess. Yeah. Technically, elves because, because I can't dream either. Elves technically yeah. sit for four hours and they're fully rested. I love sleeping. <laughs> Yeah. The blue. What, what, what did you get? Tovin. Tovin's the only one of the party that has ever had a dream before. I thought that was all a dream, but then I saw these three, and that <laughs> couldn't only be too much of a coincidence, correct? Well, I it's wish I was dreaming. A vision. A vision. Uh, as you guys are talking, uh, very much like he's dressed up in like black leather. As he kicks open the door. <laughs> and makes an entrance. Can it please be like saloon doors? Like, <laughs> 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 Do I recognize and, uh, this entity? Um, what? Flat oh, can I finish describing okay, I, I thought you were done. No, 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 no. Sorry. He, no, she literally no, didn't even describe him. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. He's in the black leather clothing. He's very, very pale. If that gives away who this is. Yeah, that would be good. Very, very pale, that does not. He's Kratos. <laughs> <laughs> he's very pale. He's got some really dark eyes and very pronounced features, uh, almost skeletal-like. He scans the room, and he locks eyes on the fate. And he walks towards you guys and casually sits down at the table with his feet propped up on the table. And he looks at the four and he goes, Where's the fifth? The fifth is supposed to be here. I like how you're running with it now. <laughs> None of us know. <laughs> She's running with it now. Running with what? Not even her. Spencer not being here. Oh, yeah. Do I recognize this this man's? Well, it's like one. Probably not. May yeah, I attempt to identify? Yeah, all of you guys try to identify him. I'm not going to know him. don't even care. Total of eight. Eight? Total of ten. Is it Thanatos, maybe? Total gas. What, what, what was your score? A seven. A seven? <laughs> Uh, and I don't I think I have. This is Hades. Oh, it's Hades. Um, hence the skeletal like. Crazy, it's Hades. Um, but I'm gonna say 
if you two recognize that's Hades. God, you recognize that it's Hades. So, but this is Hades. Um, this is do you friend. just say hello Hades out loud so that the rest of the Greek world last night? Yeah. This character said the who's who of the Greek world last night. Lord Hades here in front of us? Yeah, I got I got way better things to do, but I have to be here with you fools. So, we're going to keep going with this because I really need your help down in the underworld. You see, we have a maintenance problem going on. Should you not call an electrician, perhaps? Or a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> what did my father do this time? Uh, I don't think it's your father. He's been up in the forge, you know, doing his, his stuff. I see your little uh, tattoo. What did his gear do this there. time? Just the hate dripping on his voice. <laughs> um, what do you need us to do, Lord Hades? Well, I heard you guys had a very uh, lovely dream from the fates. Last night? Is this... That's what we did. Indeed. Alright. Was the fifth one there in that one, or...? Nope. <laughs> okay, I guess we're just gonna have to roll Fate this. just said that she doesn't know where the fifth is. I don't know what happened, but that's whatever, I guess. Perhaps in the future. <laughs> in a week. Maybe, maybe. Uh, week. But this is some pretty bad Keep timing, but... Time. We need some help, essentially, from you guys, because I, I can't seem to figure out why there's not dead people coming in as much as they should be. Could it be that the lifespan of humans and other creatures has just bit lengthened? Uh, no, so I can't talk. It's supposed to be, like, hundreds of right? I mean, yeah, we just had the public a lot of people died in that, but like, oh, come on, my job is already hard enough. Um, Wouldn't it be easier without anyone coming into the underworld? Well, then see, we have overpopulation that could happen. It's already happening in our world, but that was fine. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> so you do. So, <laughs> so you don't know why that there haven't been as many people coming in. No, and I just, I'm trying to figure out where this hole is, and it seems like there's a hole. I don't know. Oh, they the gods, plumber. There's a hole in the pipes. <laughs> the gods and goddesses met, and each of you guys were chosen by us to help us. Uh, personally, I had some other choices, you know, like Achilles. I could bring him back with a snap of my fingers, but Apollo mentioned you five or something, so we're going to go with it. Uh, Just a general lack of caring. <laughs> yeah. Man, I really okay. gotta stop sleeping in the I guess, first part of the meetings. I guess this means none of us picked Hades for our deity. That or Hades doesn't recognize children. Maybe uh, he's just Jordan, a shit what dad. Number am I? Probably. Mm -hmm. What number am I? I mean, Hades is like not a dick from my understanding of Greek mythology, as he's actually kind of a good person. Is it not so good? Yeah. Depends on the myth of Persephone that you read. It's yeah. true. Huh? First season, you were the quietest. Now you're the loudest. Interesting. Oh, yeah, totally. Well, I mean, I think there's also less people to take that loudness. See, guys, I really did integrate the role playing that you guys requested. I love it. Or I'm trying to. Already, but. So. <laughs> Although the first session is always well, a cluster. Uh, I think you've just got more confidence on Mike. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, do you guys have any questions right now that I can try to answer, but... Are we heading to the underworld to do this? Yeah, you guys actually have to go see my wife, Persephone. She has a little bit more information for you. Uh, I spelled this wrong in my notes. <laughs> it's a Persephone. Um. <laughs> Lady Persephone? <laughs> um, but I have to go and see what's Whoa. going on, so... Uh, let me know when you figure it out, and he hands each of you guys a pomegranate seed. Um, these will allow to call you to call me if you God, need anything. I forgot anything. to eat that before I unplugged it. But mainly just for information, if you don't have information, please don't call me because I'm a busy man. You got it? I am busy. I do have a quick question. What? How do we get there? She'll help you, she points to the lake. Or he... 
he points to the lady in white, and she kind of looks at him and glares, and then rolls her eyes and goes, I guess I'm busy too, you know, and continues on, um, and he goes, we'll see you later, and he disappears in the closet before you guys can see anything. Bye, Lord. Hey, okay. <laughs> Uh, and this cloud of smoke smells like rotten corpses. <laughs> <laughs> what a, what a friendly <laughs> god. <laughs> Look around, do I, is everyone just kind of staring at what just happened? Or any recognition of, that was just Hades that was in here? Or This is what well, my thing is doing. No, it seems as if like all their attention is drifted to a performer that was up on stage. That was very convenient. It was like it was planned. Yeah, wow. Well, yeah, knows what she's doing. Off to the underworld, eh, gents and lady? Can, can I examine the performer and see if there's anything special about that? The performer? No, it's just a regular performer. I can tell you that. <laughs> it, she, it would she, have to be a special performer to draw attention away from a god. Well, I mean, not everyone would know it would be a god. And everyone's saying that who's true of Greek There's a lot of the rock and corpse. Well, that was after he's gone. So they probably just think someone ripped a wicked fart. Yeah, yeah depending <laughs> on what you ate. I mean, it could be anyone. Uh, Do not eat the baklava. <laughs> That's the first Greek food that came to mind. <laughs> so, um, Jordan, it is 6.50. Do a little bit before. In the yeah. Um, is there a stopping point relatively soon? I mean, I can make it a stopping point, but this is my stopping point where I transfer you guys. I'll get you guys to the underworld and then we can stop there. Sound good? Okay. All right. Like, describe it in a second. And then that's what we're going to take a break. Oh, uh, pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. she, she looks at you guys and goes, why are you just a peach? She kind of grimaces for a second. She's a, he's a god, actually, not a peach. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, these are pomegranates. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you guys might, wanna, uh, might not want to lose those and might want to put them in your inventory so you can remember that you have them or write a note down. I do have them in my notes, but... You might forget. Yeah. Because you want to... The pomegranate seed? Uh, essentially what you guys will do is you can either chew it or throw it on the ground and stomp it. It just has to be crushed. Is it a one-time use thing? Yeah, one-time use it is done. So you have four of them, you would have had five. Oh, goodness. So, it's not four. I'm trying to figure out where to put it. We're looking at you, Spencer. <laughs> Piece of shit. Wow. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Someone's not bitter at all. No. Not. <laughs> not at all. Why would you think that? I'm totally going to butcher spelling pomegranate. Oh, wait, there it is. Okay. Pomegranate. Yeah. Pomegranate. 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 Pomegran
Is just, there any symbolism behind them? This is the door to the underworld. <laughs> Artistic. Yeah. Just make so they are oh, so symbolism one final drink before they die. The underworld. Huh? It is symbolism for a door to the underworld. Yeah, essentially. Um, you see her go up with um, like a, a stone, the ones that you can use to write with, kind of like chalk. Have you guys ever used this before? Yeah. Yeah. She takes chalk that. Rock. Yeah, chalk rock. Is that what they're actually doing? Yeah. <laughs> chalk is, is a really type do. of rock. <laughs> Well, it was like anyway, we're <laughs> talking. Yeah, so she takes one of those and she draws one more symbol, and then the door glows a very like dark black, I guess, and it looks like some of purple. So you know, it's glowing. Like you know, the very there's an obvious yeah. change. Um, Never and she goes, huh? Nether pearl. God damn it, Nate. <laughs> um. <laughs> I mean, literally. <laughs> Welcome to the costume. <laughs> she she looks at you guys and goes, uh, well, you guys might need these, and she hands you two drachma. One to get across the river, and one to come back from. Is it Curtis, 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 what are they called? For the, world, the drachma? The drachma? Is it just, it's is like drachma? ancient Greek currency. Okay, I was wondering if it was going to be, instead of gold, just use No, drachma will essentially be a special thing that you guys Should we add that to the inventory too, to Drachma? Yeah. You can just make like, a quick note of it, so then like, major. it doesn't have any special properties. <laughs> God, this D&D Beyond, you need to make it this easier. Um, and then she has, she goes, oh! I forgot, and she goes upstairs real quick and brings back down a package. Um, in the package, or on the outside of the package, it looks like some blood on it. And she goes, so who wants to carry the stakes? The stakes? Yes, we have some stakes for, um, Cerberus. I shall. Okay. She hands them to you and goes, Make sure that each head gets one, or they'll get all fussy. Each head needs one stake. Yes. Understood. And he'll like you, and he might try to lick you, and you get slobber everywhere. That's okay, I love dogs. Just give the left head, most head all three. <laughs> and we're dead. That's... I'm not gonna do that. TBK first. Freaking <laughs> how... That you're taking they make this way too hard. Um, and like that one scene in Kingdom Hearts, the first Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> she looks at you and she goes, the two drachma are so that you can ride across the river sticks with, uh, Charon, Charon, however you want to pronounce it. Charon, Charon right? Yep. Yeah, there's, like, different ones. Does each person have two, or? Yeah, each person has two. Okay. Has two. Um, you might have to face some undead, they're pretty wooly, some of them didn't get buried with the correct, uh, currency, so they never got to ride across. So they might try to fight you for your money, just if a forewarning. Um, well, if not, Charon might step in and help you out if he's at the shore. But, um... That should be easy Other than that, there's not much I can help you with, so good luck and may the gods and goddesses be ever in your favor. And with that, she just disappears. Thank you! <laughs> what was her name again? <laughs> huh? I through the door. Step through the door. Okay, what could cool. possibly go wrong? Step through the door. I, oh, I, well, okay. He steps through the door and he disappears. Well, shall we follow? What do I see on the other side? I'm not answering that until after the break. What could possibly go wrong? I follow. <laughs> you follow okay. Okay, D don't acknowledge me. Let's go, Quinn. You're Quinn, right? Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> Let's go, Quinn. <laughs> Fate, look at you and go, and she pops back into existence for a second. Goes, shoo, shoo, and then she goes. I walk through. I walk through. I call back. See y'all in hell. <laughs> Son of a bitch. It's really? Like, it's not hell. Get it right. <laughs> it's close enough. <laughs> okay, so all of you guys. And is there a fair bit of evidence that it was a colloquial name even back then? And there's an actual term for it, but I couldn't find the term. So. Taking a break? I just knew that. Yeah. Okay. You guys can take a break. So we'll be this is fun. 
Um, we freaking right off the bat, we're going to the underworld. Yeah. <laughs> Upon entrance to the underworld from the inn, you see what seems to be a ginormous cavern that has a river running through it. Um, a lot the river of sticks, mayhaps? Oh, wow. I don't know. Yes. How oh, did you know that? <laughs> Roll for <laughs> it. Man, can I just know something? Yeah, you can know it's the river no. sticks. You guys know you're going to the underworld. That's fine. Yeah, I didn't recognize Hades, but know exactly which river is the I river sticks. <laughs> I think I overthought it was my I issue because I thought it was Thanatos. Because he doesn't really see the sun. Um, who, who has the most powerful weapon here? Me. At, at the table, I would have snuck up and touched your weapon and cast Blessing of the Forge. Thank you. I don't know if I actually have the most powerful weapon. I was just saying that. <laughs> it's plus one to attack and damage rolls. Thank you. How long was it last? Um, until I finish a long rest. Or die. Sweet. Or die. <laughs> Let's hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> Alright, uh, you might want to add that into your notes, Kyle. Well, hey, at least... I mean, your weapon's literally just a plus one right now. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, well, I think I just have a standard short bow. Oh, well, hey, at least if you die, you won't need to, like, move very much. Now? Temporarily? Mm-hmm. Um, but you see a river running through it. But you cannot see the other side of the river due to a fog uh, obscuring your view. On the shore, there seems to be an absurd amount of people milling around mindlessly. They don't seem to notice you. On uh, the river, you can see the ferry mod Chiron come out of the mist and head towards the dock, where some people are waiting in line for him to approach. Uh, three so souls line up to hand him a coin and get on, and the dock is 200 feet from you guys. Is Charon a god, or no? Or is he just a guy? Yeah. Uh, he always just references, like, the fairy man, so... Yeah. I mean, he's probably so. someone who's died. Soon may the fairy man come to bring <laughs> us. Uh, would you guys like to... Is... Yeah, my name is Kyle. Okay, what, what about the rest of you? I, too, walk over to the dock. I suppose I follow. Same. Okay. <laughs> Uh, as you guys start walking, <laughs> you get maybe uh, 20 feet and you hear, What are you five doing here? Sorry. What are you four doing here? <laughs> sorry, I thought there were supposed sorry, to be five. I read my script wrong. I, I, I have it written right here, five. Uh, <laughs> I look in the direction. I, I look in the direction of the sound and just respond back, Official business of Hades. Right, hold on. None of your business. Okay. She wasn't dead yet. Oh, what are you guys doing here? You don't seem dead to me. Yeah, boss, they look pretty lively. Pretty lively indeed. He, like, scrunches up and looks at you guys. Does the whole beard thing. He's got a little goatee going they, on. What's your name? They're, are they clearly uh, they're undead? Just, they're actually, yeah, they're undead. Uh, so okay, they, turn them dead. They can run away. Can we just calm down and let Abby finish the description, okay. please? She's about to interact with them. She's about to make these guys make them run and then I'll decide what to do. <laughs> uh, he kind of gets up close to you guys and like looks at your faces and is like, yeah, really lively. Hmm. We are! Why are you here then? As I said, official business of Hades. I need your roller persuasion. Oh, that's a good skill for me. Yeah, your people skills are amazing, but your intelligence is gone awful. Yeah, so we got two really char oh, charismatic clerics here. Well, I'm telling the truth. I know, but he... So, but this guy's very untrusting, clearly. Yeah. Um, I gotta go to a certain page now, sorry. Uh, oh, it's my next page. Cool. Uh, <laughs> I just knew I had to go to a certain page. If he's wanting to resist us, wouldn't that be a strike charisma? Shh. Generally? It's my rules. I don't know yeah, your rules, rules, of course. I was going to brush up on a lot of stuff this upcoming week, and I did not get that chance. So you could have said no! No, I want to do it! I'm having fun! Uh, I agree. That's why I'm oh, like, just let me roll with what this, I can do, this, okay? This is <laughs> amazing. This is amazing. Uh, um. <laughs> I just realized that bought Coke Zero instead of regular Coke. Yeah, it's disgusting, isn't it? <laughs> I can't tell the difference. How can you not tell the difference? It is disgusting. Um, I see. Our apologies. 
We didn't realize you were one of us working for us, you know. We just got to keep a lot of alive people out of here. You know, we've had some troublemakers in the past trying to bring back dead girlfriends and stuff. So, um, <laughs> they caused quite a ruckus. Well, I think most of the problems in Greek mythology were caused by not keeping it in your pants. Yeah, but they're, like, uh, <laughs> is it Euripides? No, it's not Euripides. I don't know. One of, one of them, he was, like, a really good singer. And Orpheus. Orpheus, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, his girlfriend got bit by a snake and died, and so he tried to bring her back and then looked back too soon. Uh, like, I'm pretty sure it's your Ophelia. Ophelia. Yeah, so yeah. His GF. Yeah. Ophelia is someone else. Uh, so, they kind of look at you and the guy goes, Should we let him pass, boss? Well, yeah, we kind of have to. If they're on official business from the 80s himself. Did he tell you guys where you need to go? To see Persephone is all yeah. yeah. Persephone? Persephone, okay. Uh, yeah, you'll take the boat down there. <laughs> Is she simply on the other side then? Uh, she, she might be by. Uh, she left at Albuquerque. How are we supposed to call Hades? Miss Sarah will be to use the same method to call Persephone. Uh, no, um, he was about to tell you. Uh, Persephone's probably over by Cere Cerebrus. Cere Cerberus? Words. <laughs> Cerberus? Uh, <laughs> It's about feeding time. Usually the fates come around and bring steaks, but I don't see them right now. Oh, no worries. I have those right here. You got the steak? Hey, kid, you want yes. to buy a steak? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you want to buy? Want to buy a sundial? Real quick, I check my inventory to make sure I still have all three. Yeah, they're all there. Okay, good. <laughs> um, as you guys, he's like, all right. He goes, all right, I guess you guys can pass. And he... Thank you. He, like, waves at you, but as soon as you guys start to walk past him, Kiron leaves. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> and he goes, looks like he just missed him. Don't or, worry, he'll be back eventually. We gotta that? wait by the shore with the other souls. The line is shorter than it normally is. We're not sure what's quite going on, but uh, Anatos hasn't really been around, so we can't ask him. How long has it does it typically take Charon to come by? I don't know. Is there no no poop schedule? <laughs> nah, it kind of just happens because some of the souls, you know, they're like grannies and they gotta get off the boat. And the other <laughs> ones, you know, they're like athletes. And like, they need to offload the wheelchairs first. It's, it takes this whole thing. Yeah. So, just as long as we're not having to wait several days. I don't think it should be several days. days. I don't think that's actually a spell. So I don't know. Time runs a little different down here, so you just kind of roll with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then they kind of walk off and let you guys walk down to the shore. Hey, Alistair, come here a second. I'm, after I walk down to the shore, I'm I have, walk on over. So no. I sit down on the shore and I say, "Wash my back," and my face goes blank. And my hawk takes off, flies around, and I'm trying to see what is going on around the area. Uh, how far does your hawk go? I keep. Well, I forget. What are the. Go there and look over at the group of unchecked. Hang on a second. I need to figure out how far. Because I think technically I can uh, see through my familiar's eyes for a certain amount of distance and give it a command to come back after so long. Hey. After a certain amount of time, I can't control it. Are there any flames around? To a certain footage. Are there yeah. any flames? Yes. Kyle, I'm pretty sure yours is lightning, not flames. But I want to say yeah. six. Because your, on your character huh? sheet, it says Light. resistance to lightning, so that's probably your power. Oh, that's bronze, probably. Yeah, I forgot. Is there any flames around? Uh, no. There's <laughs> not flames. Despite what you think of the underworld, there's not flames. So 100 feet, I can actually communicate with it. Darn. Um, Sorry. As far as... I wanted to use thaumaturgy to turn the flames purple. Because oh I have that now. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, it doesn't tell me how far I can actually look through the familiar, and use my familiar senses, though. I'm not sure. Well, we'll just say that you fly around. I like my torch. I use thaumaturgy to turn the. I use thaumaturgy to turn it purple. I turn it blue. I turn it. I turn. I turn it red. 
great. It's gonna go for a while. Is it a candle? Black. I die inside. Cyan. <laughs> While they're doing this, Jordan. Um, Magenta. Magenta. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fun game. You pretty much see a whole bunch of souls wandering around. There's not much you can see. Uh, if he goes into the fog, it's just too dense and he would have to turn around. Um, Does anyone look at us while we're doing the color battle on the table? <laughs> <laughs> is it a cantrip? Yes. Yes, okay. thaumaturgy is a cantrip. We're not wasting spell there slots. There goes all of your spell slots. Here's a fight roll initiative. Um, <laughs> As you guys are waiting in the line, there's only one other person in front of you. He kind of has, like, a giant hole in his stomach. <laughs> that looks painful. Yeah. I wonder how he died. I am back in my own body now, and my hawk is back okay. with me. All right. By this time, I've extinguished the torch. Okay. Um, and after a couple more wait minutes of waiting, you yeah. see four dwarves approach you. They're all four three to four eight, uh, and obviously related. They all have red hair and pretty long beards. They definitely were hard-working craftsmen, and um, a few of them, uh, three-quarters of them, are missing their fingers, while the other one looks like it's missing bits and pieces of their skin, as if they were tortured. Oh, my. Um, so, so what are you in for? <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. Uh, their throats also were looked like they were slit with blood coming down, as if they were silenced, and they have some clubs on their Yikes. They approached us like they're going to say something? Yep. Oh, boy. Hello, gentlemen. Give us your coin. We need to cross the river. I do not believe that will be possible. We're here on official business. I don't care. We Turn were them there. dead. <laughs> they're dead. <laughs> they're dead. Can we not get they're hostile alive. immediately? They're, like, they're let's... dead but alive, so I think that would be undead. Yeah, I know. Yeah. should work on corpses. But are they corpses or astral projection? <laughs> <laughs> I see dead people. Yeah, but... Here, here. Wait, what do I have in deception? What do I have in deception? Um, Shh, okay, that's not bad. DC 12. DC 12. We don't have anything. Sorry, didn't. And I bring up. It wasn't even like battle yet. I like how he can he right has now. a card to get us out of every encounter in the underworld. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I can only do this once. I bring up my shield and the symbol in the center. Do you want to waste it? As I stay. Do you want to waste this now? Yeah. Do you actually? Want Jeez, to come on, man. Because there could be there could be there could be something. I'll hold my turn undead. But I will use thaumaturgy to make my voice boom a little bit more than usual and say we're on official business, turn away. He looks at the dragonborn and he spits at your feet. And he goes, your kind did this to us. You're the reason we're like this. So you better pay up. Well, that was my kind. That was not me. So... Would they know Most of them. Between regular gold and drug. Darn it. I was, I was still talking. It's gonna pull. They're asking for these stupid chains, you filthy dragonborn. Well, that is rather rude. I don't care. We're dead because of your kind. Again, that wasn't me. That's rather racist, don't you think? He kind of just looks at you, pissed off, like he just doesn't care. Your kind killed him, essentially. Just, that's all he sees. He's an angry soul. I'm, I have a role for intimidation to tell him to back the fuck off. I'd like to assist. Okay. Um, by bringing out my mace and... Natural 20. My shield. Alrighty, so Shit. he backs off, but the other... Wait, can I say something? Go Can ahead. I back the fuck up okay. as I hold up my mace and I have this creepy, deranged smile? Because okay. my character very rarely does not smile. Um. Yeah, sure. Back off, or I will kill you twice. Back off, or I'll kill you again. My, my assist, I'm bringing 
my mace up and slamming it against my shield. Okay, well, he backs off, but the younger ones, the younger looking towards, approach you, and they take a swing. Because you only send him. So, they attack you. Jabber. So, I would like for everyone to roll initiative. Oh, am I not rolling to avoid? Okay. Five. <laughs> He's not going to attack you. So is this so this one guy is at least scared off. Yeah, so he'll have a, a disadvantage on his first rolls. Um. This go fourteen. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, sorry, I'm looking at. Gotta have so many spells. It's gonna be hard to keep track of. By the way, if you are on the Argos on One Twitch channel, it, you there is, the D and D Beyond mm -hmm. overlay is active. You can see how our characters do, are doing health wise. Yeah, sorry, Kyle. There's a note that says no matter what you guys say, they're gonna fight you. <laughs> That's fair. So, uh, who had a twenty plus? Anyone? <laughs> oh no. shit! This is not good. <laughs> no. Okay. Um. Neither did I. Who had a fifteen plus? Almost. <laughs> Oh shit, I need one more clip, Jordan. I was wrong. If you guys had not persuaded the guards, they would have attacked you too. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, we're just gonna draw a little forward. Hopefully, Charon or someone will come by to make these dudes F off. Okay, so four is enemy four. Um, we're gonna. Well, they're undead, so radiant damage. Okay. And two of us have radiant damage, so. What's radiant damage? Sacred. Plus, if you guys. Want oh, to sweet! Have, I'll just sacred flame them. If you, if you turn undead them, okay. We want to get you guys actual XP, so. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to get you guys to. Um. So no one else had 15 plus, right? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Let me run this. Um. Just the note. Yeah. D and D official rules do you state that bypassing an encounter counts as clearing it. I didn't know that. Now we know. Yeah. So bypassing an encounter, while you might not get as much XP, you should still get XP for it in the base rules. Fair. Um, well, we're going to do level ups. I'm not going to have like specific XP for you. So. Right. So it'll be milestone. Like Milestones, yeah. Games. Okay. Because uh, that's just easier. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, I'm putting it. Okay. Who had 10 plus? Yo, we we all two. rolled so oh, badly. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, we oh my god. <laughs> As a yeah. wise man once said, I, I rolled a 14, so. I didn't okay. even want to come. So. Um, <laughs> you are kind of strong. Okay, uh, and then I'm next with a 15 and an 11. Oh jeez. So uh, At least the clerics are in front. Uh, so our tanks are gonna take the damage. Five plus? Five. I got a nine. Kyle? You got a nine. I got a nine. Five. five. Who has a higher dex? You, because my dex is zero. Okay. Oh, what's, so your AC and What's my AC and health? My AC is 18, my health is 24. Yeah, my, my dex is plus zero, I'm pretty sure. Okay, yeah. My AC like is 18, my health is 27. Wait, is, your, is yours a... Mine's 10. So I'll probably cycle into the front. I don't know. Go ahead. Don't matter to me. Okay. Um, Kyle, you're next. Okay. Um, I got a 9. Oh, shit. I got a 9. Okay. Didn't one of the four get scared though? 
in this version. I've been making too many 3.5 characters. Man, I always end up going last on these stupid freaking encounters. Uh, Not that I did myself. First, it's the uh, first encounter to get No, but like, I mean, all the other previous sessions, what? When you get a level, it was a um, it was for your level, mm -hmm. uh, take alert. It's okay. straight off to your initiative and you cannot be surprised. Okay. Wait, so it was then Quinn? Yeah. yeah. You had five? But I thought one of them was scared by me. Yeah, he rolled with a disadvantage and got a 12 and an 8. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Yeah, last, boys. Okay. <laughs> so, new thing we're doing this uh, this time is we have these lovely... I don't think they can see it, and I don't think there's an easy way to show it. Um, they can see the backs of them. They can? Cool. Yeah. So we have that them. camera just barely has them in frame. That one. So that camera barely has it in frame, but it's probably kind of. It can thing. see. Yeah, it's a little I mean, bit blurry. It's okay. So we have these uh, initiative trackers, so I can keep order of who's going next. Um, enemies, and we have actual people's names written out. Uh, it's on both sides, so that they can see as well as well as me. So. That's nice. All right. So then we have. Make sure to keep at least one of them alive so I can attack him. <laughs> you will be fine. We're all gonna no, be I can't wait to kill one of them and just make them hate my kind even more. So was that a dragonborn killed me twice? Was that? <laughs> I hate was, them. Was that swing at? I was said career. Oh my god. Mm -mm. Tovin. It's gonna be this, Tovin. Uh, first enemy. So Tovin, what? So for enemy one, that was his attack. It was that swing. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna see who like went first, and if someone went first, they could have countered it. So, but y'all roll shit. So Yay. it's not my fault. Um. So oh. we have. All right. Switch out. Cool, cool. Um. Sorry, this is my first time. I'm using D&D Beyond's encounter thing that's in beta, so I'm trying oh. to, um... Find where you have it? No, I'm trying to make sure I have all my health right, real quick. Sorry. I forgot that was a thing. Yeah, I'm just trying to see if I like it. If not, then, you know. Um. Pull the Sam Regal. Guys, yeah, D&D Beyond. <laughs> 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 I'm not sure if he has done that in... The first couple of episodes, but later on he'll. Oh yeah. When oh, yeah. Matt oh, Lee, when Matt Lee gets up to get something, he's like, "Guys, D and D hey, Beyond." Alistair, like he does the. Um, twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Cool. I believe um, I have the highest health in the party. Okay. Um. I think if you use. Oh, Kelly, how much strength do you have? Twenty-four. Thank you. And everyone else has twenty-four as well. <laughs> okay. I'm the only one that has. I'm the only one that rolled perfect health. <laughs> I didn't roll, I just went. I went with average. what D&D Beyond did. I went with roll health. That's fine. And got perfect. I went with what D&D Beyond did. Uh, and we don't have a bit of a problem. No, I didn't have that with me anyway, so, okay. I mean, I have a battle mat hiding under that policy. Yeah, but we don't have a oh, camera to aim at it if we yeah. were to start doing that. All right, so. Yeah, I guess that's for what we could put in that corner. We're going to start, and this is just a fun way for you guys to do XP and Jordan required that I'm going to... <laughs> well, I mean, for the original thing. Yeah, but yeah. I haven't already read it, so... Yeah. Here we are. Alrighty, so my cool dwarf guy is going to attack you guys. Um, and he's swinging at Kyle first for being a butt -like Come guy. at me, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he's swinging at Tobin first. Um, try to be good about using your character names. It looks um, like Taven on the, on the... I know it looks like an A, but it's fine. It's an O. Taven. 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 Alright, so... He's going to... <laughs> he's going to try... I guess I'm going to be Cravier then. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to try to bite you. Oh. Oh. Kinky! <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say that also! <laughs> Would you rather he bite you or claw you? <laughs> Isn't he a dwarf? Whichever he's into. He's definitely an <laughs> undead ghoul thing, so I have to use what's on here. Okay. Alright. I don't care what he does. Option. Does a I don't want to learn if you have a finish or not. 18, isn't it? 
What? Your armor class is 18? Maybe. Okay, I rolled a 16. So he he goes to bite at you, and you kind of, like, back up like, what the fuck is going on? Gross. <laughs> and, yeah, that's his turn. Maybe that's, that's why my kind bad. killed you. You're freaking weird. So, <laughs> my turn, I'd like to kind of step up and kind of try to check my way in front of Kyle as much as I can. Okay. Who is Kyle? Or Tobin. As much as I can. Um, with my shield between me and the dwarf. Plucker, of course. A magical rock comes and from the sky. My mace hand comes back. Looks like I'm going to backhand them with the mace. I backhand them with the back of my hand and cast Inflict Wounds. Okay. How much damage are you dealing with? Um, I got to roll it first. 13 to hit. 13 to hit? Nice, you just made his AC. Okay, perfect. 19 damage. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> That's a level 1 spell slot that I just expended. Alrighty. He's looking pretty bloody. Oh. <laughs> Pathetic. Oh, okay. I've never even talking I've shit. even put like you guys at level 3, and they said this is going to be hard for you, but I really feel like... So far. Okay, 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 yeah. okay, okay, That's okay. okay. Is that You're not Laura Bailey. You don't need to say okay ten times each time you say <laughs> Is that all for you? Yes. Cool. Enemy number two. No more old dopes. Nope, it's... Yeah, okay, that's Okay, um, uh, what was me? So, this... Um, the youngest, the one with all of his fingers still, is actually going to claw at Nate, or sorry, Alistar. Um, is it Alistar or Alistar? Alistair. Stair. Staircase. Oh. That is not Alistair going to get you. Alistair. It's going to be even harder to... <laughs> it was a six on the top. This is not going to hit you. Yeah, These guys are so horrible at fighting, they're just used to working. So I wonder why you're dead. <laughs> I just kind of... And about to be dead again. I, I see it's going to miss me, but just Double so dead. it doesn't feel bad, I bat it with my shield. Well, yeah, what happens if you kill an undead? Do they just reset to the beginning of the underworld again? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Hopefully we kill one. Purge their souls. <laughs> oh, this is really cool. He's like, he's he's flashing red because he's injured. That's cool. No. Nice. Uh, maybe because he's very bloody. Um, so then I have my s second one, and this one's actually going to go... One, two, three, four. Me! Hit me! And actually he's going to hit you. It was a two. <laughs> Hell yeah! So he's going to go after me. Try. Try me, yeah, bitch. bitch. That's not going to hit you, so cool! These, guys, these are awesome dice rolls today, I mean, guys. Wouldn't Jeez. They want, wouldn't they want to go after either the dragonborn or the person obviously protecting the dragonborn? Yeah, I mean, I was just rolling it to like try to split it up a little bit. Yeah, the other know. people it haven't even done anything yet. I know. Jordan, it is now your turn. Er, Callie, it is now your turn. Okay, I'm going to. I I want to get the okay fire bolt. <laughs> so to I'm going to which one is the most hurt? Number one. The one I just hit. Number one. Yeah. Okay. The one I bit Kill Stealer. Is it that one? Natural twenty. Ah. Oh, Why do you look critical. disappointed after that? Critical. 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 So how are we doing criticals this critical. campaign? Uh. They instantly die. <laughs> So double dice. Yeah, so double dice. Two dice instead of one, or huh? two dice instead of one, or just times two. Two dice instead of one. Okay. That does have the potential to be higher. That's fine. Or lower. Yeah. Either way. It's Would you nice. get total of fourteen? Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. Holds up. <laughs> okay. How do you want to kill him? I Ooh! Critical did not exist. How do you want to do this? My Just wait oh, I really hope I get to kill one because I know exactly how I want to kill one of them. Um, if you haven't taken inflict wounds, take it. It's a good spell. Let me check. 
I do not have inflict wounds. Would, you have to touch them, would Firebolt cause 10 damage for a, level a one? pushback, or would it just be an average? Inflict wounds? Yeah. Okay. I have, it does, it does, it does it for a, I don't think it says, but I'm not them. sure. If it doesn't say, then no. Because most of the times it'll say in the description if it pushes you back. Okay. Then... I don't know. <laughs> Just catch I mean, on fire. You want it to be a cool? Is that why you're asking? If you have an idea with the push, I was just, I was just going to have the force of the fireball kind of push him into the it, it, into the river. He explodes okay, into a bunch of burning little chunks. I, I, I like, like the, your, the river. The river extinguishes the the fire from the fire. <laughs> I like your. Uh, we'll do that one. Uh, so as you cast this fire bolt at him, the force pushes him into the river, and you see these hands kind of stick out and pull him further, um, and, I... and he's gone. Can I momentarily do one thing? What? I, as a free action, I'd like to hold up the holy middle finger. Wait, what is it? Is it the middle finger in Greece? Or is it the pinky? What is it? Like, by the thumb? What is it? Um, so, after Kelly has made one of his sons go away, Too bad his mouth couldn't have been cut off, too. Misses. All right, so he kind of like runs at you, you know, little stubby legs. I can say that because I'm short. Puts <laughs> out hands, just running into my hands. <laughs> and he like waddles towards you, and then he goes and like tries to bite you, and you just stick your hand on his forehead like little kids when you're pushing him back, and he's just like. <sighs> Quinn just walks away. <laughs> kind of. I want to this that. Now. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. She's just like, oh, um, by the gods. They are. You guys are only like 20 feet of each other, essentially. Because they had approached you guys. So uh, the furthest one back. Or no, they all came up and engaged. Yeah, like how. Oh, they would be closer ish to us, right? Yeah, so I would say. Yeah, they'd all be like, on top of me. Except I mean, one. One. <laughs> Well, how close no one is being held at bay. Quite literally. On top Sorry. Of you. I, my first time, I'm trying, That's guys. Fair. That's fair. <laughs> Please don't hurt me since I'm touching one of them. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm always going to ask how close these enemies are to us when we don't have a visual. That's good. That's good. I need to find. Eventually, we will oh, yeah. probably. Yeah. We I have, have, my, we have uh, whiteboard pucks and. I have my thing. Yeah. So we can. It's my whiteboard anyway. I have uh, my grandpa made this really cool. It's just little cool. pieces. So I just did not bring them today because I wasn't aware that I was going to be. Oh, you actually have those pieces in? I, yeah, I brought them um, in. Could you just pass but, the white card to her? I, I told you. You showed me a picture and told me about them, but I don't oh, see them. Oh, okay, yeah. I actually planned on bringing them in. No, it's fine, it's fine. Nah, we don't need it now. Yeah. Uh, you have to guess. Okay, so cool. How close are you going to say you're to Jordan? We didn't establish where you guys are, so sorry. Oh, kind of standoffish, so not too close to the group. Okay, so I'm going to say they're 15 feet away from you. I really hope eventually we can warm up to all of us as schmucks. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Sorry, it's my first time running an encounter like this, it's so I'm just trying. Stop apologizing! It's the first time. <laughs> it's my first time! <laughs> just, just wild shape into a bear and eat the undead. I can't wild shape into a bear. At least I don't think so, not yet. Armager, I also didn't bird. prepare any of my wild shape stuff. Armager, it's a bird. But that's fine. Um. Yeah, because we need to talk about your wild shapes to make sure that they are. Well, I, need, I know at least one oh, shoot. can. I need to copy and paste that information that you sent me about the blessing, because I haven't really been paying attention since I wrote my... Uh, did you, add, my did you add the stat? <coughs> no, because I, I don't think I can modify that stat outright. Yeah, you can. Outright. Can I? Yeah, there's like an override yeah. section in your create your character when you're putting in your stat. Well, I mean, the only thing that gets... Jordan, let me oh, show you. Uh, hold on a second. I did. What would you like to do over the history? Uh, 
Who's all, who's all been damaged? Is it just the guy who's dead? Um, the guy who's dead has been damaged. Well, he's dead, so. Yeah, he's yeah. dead. Um, damaged pretty badly. That's it. <laughs> oh, that's it? Okay. The other ones are um, health. Yes. Okay. Sorry, I was looking at my numbers. I meant for the, um, the not officially a stat one. Okay, well. Go to this one. Okay, I'll get the message. So. I am going to use uh, my thorn whip, and I'm just gonna pull one closer to me. So I need to actually roll the. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. That's just gonna be have to mental note that we know, mm -hmm. and that's fine. It's under abilities. I don't uh, know how to. Uh, Seventeen. I'm working on it. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay, so Look also you guys my does people. damage, and I'm pulling him that's close to me. But I like think by the time feet. you guys kill everybody, um, it'll be good anyway, just because we also have some more role playing to do, so it'll work out. I'm joined. Yeah. <laughs> On this screen. That dude takes eight points I of uh, that. piercing yeah. damage. Which one are you? you just Basically, one. I don't care. Alive, uh, the first one in the lineup, number two. Three. Number two? Yeah. Yes, those were properly. So he takes eight. Uh, eight I points really of D &D piercing damage, yep. I and I pull him ten feet one. closer to me. Okay. Jordan. And then as my bonus action, That's I'm going to wild wolves. shape okay. into a dire wolf. Ooh, badass. And I'm going to growl at him. So it's a it's a <laughs> <laughs> he kind of looks at you for a second, he's like, hmm, sexy. And what?! <laughs> oh. oh Bestiality! <laughs> Would you be mad if I attempted to kill Steel? I don't care what you do. That's okay. also in character. <laughs> I'll attack the damaged one with Sacred Flame, assuming that they are within 60 feet of me. Yes. Wait, do I need... No, they need to roll, not me. Okay, what do I need to roll? Uh, you need a, a dex 10, I guess? A dex 10? No. Wait, the target must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or take... 1d8, rating damage. Uh, okay, go ahead. What's your spell save, DC? Huh? I can spell tell you now, DC? I'm not going to pass. I got a 6. Okay, cool. Then you Same take a d8 of radiant damage, which might be more because you're a dead man. So, yeah. 8! Please tell me I killed him. I really want to do a funny thing if, if he's about to die. Please, please be dead. I really want to do a funny thing. I think it does say, it would say if there was one. No, no I thought Nate said the, the thing. Dang it, Nate. There is no radiant damage in the stat block. Okay. Some undead are, invoked, are weak to it. So is he dead or no? No. Dang it, I had a funny but thing. he is bloody. Does it? Bloody don't butter my croissant. Well, at least it's a cantra, so you did not waste the spell slot. And you said it was the True. same one that... Same one that Jenna attacked, or, uh, um, Quinn. Yep. Um, is there the one that's about necrotic damage in their stat block? <laughs> yes. Jenna! What? <laughs> I read what you sent me! Good! I'm, I'm happy for you. Oh. Um, <laughs> what'd you say okay? if there's oh, any yeah. what? Okay. Anything about necrotic damage. It's too... Like, them doing necrotic damage? No. Any resistance I'll tell you about it. Here it says nothing about necrotic damage. Okay, good. Because, um, 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 inflict wounds is necrotic. Yeah, I didn't say anything about necrotic. And I, I forgot to mention that when I cast it. That's fine. Um, okay. So. Shoot, I would have attacked with my mace then, probably. Oh, well. Yeah, but it's now Alistar. Or Alistair. Alistair. Okay. I will get I've it. I've got, I've got ideas. I need to change my stat block. I mean, this is so much fun actually running a fight. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm like, I had a lot of fun doing my one shot. Yeah. There's one right next to me, correct? I'm really glad that Nate Wolf did not actually do the trick. Yeah, I 
Yeah, I mean, they're all up in your business prompts. I'm going to make a strike with my mace. Please don't, because one of them is being it's held by a cow. Exactly. <laughs> no, like, the one that's right next to me. The one that's right next I'm to right next I'm to you. I'm already engaged with one of them. Is that the one that is being held at bay by... No. No. No, there were two that hit Kyle and I. Oh, you have three left still. Yeah. Which one am I being, am I holding? You're holding number four. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Numbers two... Two is right in front of me now. Yeah, so number is... three is the one that's in front of me. Yep. So I am going to really brace with my shield <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> okay. and just bring the mace down on his head. Okay. Roll the hit. Nope. Nope. That's a nope. Okay. Uh, um, so you hold go... on, I still have a bonus action. Though, so yeah. With my bonus action, I am going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Spiritual Weapon? Okay. You have that too? Immediately on the other side. It's like, if you don't have Spiritual Weapon, you're not a cleric. Oh. Okay. What does spiritual weapon do? Well, at the moment, it just manifests a big ass forge hammer behind the target. Whoever holds this hammer, if he does. Spectral forge hammer just floating behind the target. Okay. Sorry. Um, if you heard that. Or, well, not target, we but floating on the other okay. side of the guy engaged with me. So okay, now. I'm, I'm a and, fan. um. Number two. Are when you I summon it, I can deal, or I can take a strike with it. Okay. Um. So, immediately, um, I am going to use that to make a melee attack against the guy in front of me. Is that an action? So or? it's a bonus action to summon, and when you summon it, you can immediately attack with it. Sorry, I'm just looking at it. So I forgot to you create a, my sword sword and short cast bows, time like, one you bonus action. You oh create God, a floating like, spectral weapon that oh. within oh. range that lasts for the duration, or until you cast the spell again. When you cast this spell, you can make a melee spell attack against a creature within five feet of the weapon. Furthermore, as a bonus action on your turn, you can move the weapon up to twenty feet and repeat the attack. Okay. Go ahead. Second. I. So the um, hammer strikes at him from the side. It rolls an eight. An eight does not hit him. Yeah. So. Here's so how it's gonna play out. Ready? He, so you're gonna go and you bring it down and you try to hit him with your mace. He side steps. But um, as you do that, you're trying to summon your spell at the same exact time. Mm -hmm. So. It kind of, he sidesteps that, and then you, or he kind of, after seeing your, words are hard. Yes, okay. You swing down, you cast a spell at the same time. He sidesteps from that, and as that happens, he also avoids your hammer coming back. Mm -hmm. So he sidesteps again after seeing it from the corner. Of his and head. jumps the hammer. <laughs> uh, no, he sidesteps it. Because he sees it for out of his peripherals when he's sidestepping you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Two is mad at you because you dragged it towards you. Um, number two has his fingers, so he's gonna follow you. Okay. Um. <laughs> Don't <laughs> care. Yeah. <laughs> Your stats are different every time you change, aren't they? Just a bit, yeah. Yeah. You have to make a modified version of your stat. Okay. Don't worry. Wait, I will. I'm not using it right look, now. Look at, so it. I mean, look at it. Just look at the dice. That's a cute, that's a cute roll. <laughs> what is it? It's, it's a natural cute. one. <laughs> wow, I must have actually been fierce, though. Well, technically, <laughs> natural ones only have a punishment in combat, technically. Yeah, no, well, I mean... I mean, it's just that you, you don't do the thing you're trying to do for body checks. Yeah, well, um, so... <laughs> he goes to slash at you, and you being a wolf, and he had just called you sexy, like, you sidestep with the disgusted glare at him. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't 
Don't touch me. <laughs> you know those boss he had? <laughs> yeah, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, so that's gonna be his move. Um, I don't really see the point in, like, having things get damaged on a natural one unless it contributes to plot. So, uh, yeah. the likelihood of that actually happening is very rare, just so you guys know how unless I you're not That's a homebrew rule anyway, so. Yeah. So, I mean, I've had DMs and I just really hated that rule. I mean, it was nice when they would attack each other, but I'm going to try to be consistent. And that so, not if someone happen. actually attacks number four, which I'm still holding, they miss, it's not going to hit me. No. Okay. It'll just be... Or if it does, it'll, like, boop you. Cute. You can't boop. <laughs> and you also have a very high dexterity, so I'll play into that. Um, number three was by Nate. So, Nate, you're going to be attacked by number three. He's going to bite you because no bullets on them. Because his fingers got chopped off. Just gonna keep, just gonna keep reiterating that. Yeah, it's not gonna hit you. So, ten on the dice. real quick, I, I make it feel good about itself by um, intentionally blocking with my shield again. <laughs> so, you're so nice it. to these. You're so these nice. Um, and he's gonna use, he's gonna speak to you guys this time actually, and he's going to say, "They held us down and tortured us." tortured us for hours. Imagine being a young boy as they chip away at you. And he looks at his younger brother who still has his fingers, trying to make a magical item. Is that number four? That's number three, but he's yelling that as he's trying to- Who's the one that- Never mind. Number two has the fingers. Okay, so number two is the one trying to summon something? No, he's not trying to summon anything. Number he's three. Talking. Number three is the fingers. I would feel they were trying to make a magical item, and that's what they were being tortured into doing. I would. Oh, okay. I would feel worse if they didn't, you know, really instigate the fight with us. Because I can make them pretty easily. Yeah, but they were being tortured to make a magic item. Man, that sucks. I growl in indifference. <laughs> Grr. Grr. Um, it, it sounds like absolute disgust and hatred. Yeah, pretty much. Because Callie, the girls all sound the same. Yeah. I'm first. Uh, I'm not sure if I should ask if they're. Uh, I know what I wanted to do, but that kind of fucked with that. I don't know if I want to kill them in the funny way now. It might be. I'm, out going, of I'm going to not say, are you asking for mercy? The character? Or? The, kind of the number three. Because they were just, they, he spent his turn talking, I'm going to ask. I'm sorry, you're asking for mercy. He didn't spend his turn talking. He used that as, like, a free action. Oh, okay. Yeah. You can say That's a, a short... free action. Okay. Yeah, you can say a short phrase or make a s small gesture. So then, yeah, I'll, I'll ask if, if he would, is asking for mercy. So he, only dropping something's a free action. Yeah, he, he turns to you and he goes, why would we ask for mercy from you? In that case, I'm going to pull out my short sword and stab it in the one that I'm holding. <laughs> <laughs> in that case, yeah. shank. So you're stabbing at the father. Oh, okay. Yeah. Man, uh, that's because you are the ones who attacked us. Yeah. Um. What is it? Is it another 20? No. Is it that one? It's a total of nine. It's a nine? Yeah, you don't hit Jordan, him. you still need- I mean, I'm holding him. You're going to that, that attribute to yeah. something. <laughs> He, uh, you kind of like. Not even advantage. You're holding like this, and you grab it out after hearing this. After I was hoping she'd give me advantage on that. Um, <laughs> you go. Why are we asking? Well, I mean, you're not grappling him. You're just holding your hand I out. I mean, I guess I should have. We never established that you were I grappling. I've been trying to pull it into my sword holster. So like, no. That would be a grapple check. Yeah. Um. So you're like holding it out. You grab your. What is it? A short short sword is what you said? Yeah. You grab your short sword and you try to go yeah, and stab him, short but he, he steps backwards because you're not holding on to him, so he just backs away from your sword. <laughs> In that case, oh. <laughs> uh, um. And next. So, four. as a bonus, is he still like right there though? He backed up. Or I guess he, he didn't really hold his movement, so he Nope. Um, I'll just say he 
dodges out of it, but backs out of it. Okay. Then I'm going to bonus action, kind of. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to bonus action, never mind. <laughs> I was going to take a step I was gonna take a step or two back to kind of get out of the range of well just took a step or two back. Hi. I can't tell the difference between this and a regular code, but I can't tell the difference between this and old Coke Zero. Um so Okay. Now it is the one that you will hold Dean's turn and he's gonna turn and look at you. Okay, stop. Because you were holding him like a child. <laughs> that was the idea. <laughs> so, uh, he's going to try to attack you. He's going to bite you. Okay. Nothing worse. Does an 18 hit you? Yes, it does. Alright, so he actually bites you. Oh my god. I was god. only hoping he'd fail again and he just totally does the same thing as holding <laughs> against my arm again. Well, uh, now you can pick him up by the bite. Oh, uh, my arm just. I didn't know that I could do this. Okay, fun facts. I'm learning this system as I go. Alright. Please tell me he picks it, the dwarf pop up by the bite. <laughs> I just wanna... <laughs> so your hand's still like out there because you were like, what the fuck, he just moved away from my sword. Okay, I guess. I'm assuming gravity would have brought it down, but okay. <laughs> um, and so, he bites your hand. <laughs> you kind of like right here, in like this... this left hand, left hand. Um... <laughs> Uh, Yeet! Yeah. <laughs> His next attack is a chew. He's just on my hand, just throw me to the river. <laughs> well, yeah, if he's dangling off your hand, you can just walk him over to the river and set him in. Uh, take 12 points of damage. 12? She has strong teeth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm sorry, I rolled the wrong dice. Oh. We rolled dice here. Hang on a second. The right dice. 11, yeah. di 11 points damage. 11. Oh, okay, much 11. better. I'll, heal, I'll, heal, I'll just heal one. We'll do that, we'll do that. Um, and it's piercing, obviously. Uh, 13 points of damage. Okay. Is he still on my fist? <laughs> yeah, he's just kind of like sitting there like a dog that bites you and it doesn't let go. He's just like, ah! <laughs> so, uh, next up we have Darling Quinn, Darling. who is a sexy beast. <laughs> you know it. Uh, how long uh, until someone screws the poop? I have a question for you. Whoa! Gross. <laughs> No one's screwing Quinn. I mean, I had to make oh, a joke. Oh, you did. I had to. You can try. Okay. I'm not going to say no. Okay. Uh, you attacked number two, right? Really I did. Really close next to me. Okay, cool. Yeah, what sorry. You I know your no, character hates fine. that. <laughs> Actually, that's fine. I'm supposed to. For this. Because <laughs> I get uh, I mean, you need tactics. an attack. You need a tank. That's not right? my strong suit. <laughs> you need no, a tank. I mean, I technically have more hit points as a whole. Yeah. And I get pack tactics. No, the, the bigger thing is he's a healer. Well, the bigger thing is I get pack tactics. Because yeah. he's right next to me. Yeah. So, 16 plus 5. Yeah, that is. <laughs> and wait, which one are you going after? Two? Yeah. Cool. Yep, okay. How much damage are you doing? Uh, 2, 3, 6, plus 11. How do you want to kill him? I'm going straight for the jugular. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a love fight. He's going to die horny. Really. <laughs> he's like, he already flirted with me, okay. so. So he sees you, like, running up towards him, and he's like, oh, yes, come towards me. And then uh, you jump up, and he's like, ready to embrace you <laughs> as you bite down on his jugular. And he goes, <laughs> and he falls to the ground, and he just crumbles into dust. So he's dead. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was a kid. That was which one? That was number two. Nice. Yoink. I had to think of a creative way to kill him in the other world, but that's not gonna happen. Well, I mean, besides the one that is drowning in the. In the My turn. I don't actually think that there's um things in the river, but it's gonna be for this. Thing. I think technically, isn't it something similar to how you described it? Yeah. The river itself. Smells. I mean, that way you don't just get up and walk across. Yeah. There's a punishment for trying yeah. to do that. Uh, you lose your memory, I believe. I, I would have yep. to look at it. Yeah, it's a memory. Yep. Cool. My turn. Yes, go ahead. 
I cast Sacred Flame on the one that's attacking uh, Callie. Come on. Don't what? Callie. Please don't kill it. Please don't kill it. Please don't kill it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sacred Flame. So you got to roll Dexterity thingy. Oh no! No, I can't do it. <laughs> dexterity. Uh, Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
How do you think I feel being at the end? Is there any metal? Especially because Nate takes up like half the time. Because they were in a shop working. <laughs> Nate, do something. <laughs> Just cast <laughs> Sacred Flame. Um, guiding Bolt. Guiding Bolt? On the one by Joy. No! <laughs> no, this gives you advantage. Oh, okay. Guiding Bolt. I mean, it deals damage, yes, but it also gives you advantage. Oh, we'll give you advantage? Is it on anything? On the next attack. Didn't you already get to kill one? Technically it's not. Net 20! Guiding Bolt. Is it going to be non-lethal damage so I can actually have my fun? Yeah, can I do this as non-lethal? Yeah. Didn't you already kill one, Jordan? I did, but one is attached to my hand. You get to roll 8d6? And there's something that I really... <laughs> I believe it's 8d6. 8d6 came out to 24 damage. 24 but on Jordan's? Yeah, this on the target by Jordan. Did you say you would not have killed him anyway. You would not have? Okay. Yes, this is the father, so he's... Really and dangerous. next attack against him gets advantage. Okay. Was what I'm planning, are you going to allow me to roll advantage for that? Because of technicalities? Sorry? Are you still going to allow me to roll with advantage because of technicalities and what I'm wanting to do not being an attack action? Technically. I will let you roll with advantage, that's fine. Okay. Well, like I said, I'm gonna play towards the side of fun, and I think that the idea you came up with is pretty fun. Okay. So, fuck it. Okay. Uh, I, I, I love you already. <laughs> should be interesting. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just fucking boring. <laughs> and, um, the, the father is now glowing with a dim gold light. Cool and a bunch of little he rings of asbestos. <laughs> The Hephaestus are crawling across the skin. Well, he likes Hephaestus, so... Someone's a daddy's boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Do we hear you say that? Please say that! The description, of, <laughs> the the description <laughs> of the magical effect. Yeah, no, no, no I'm just okay. laughing. Okay. Why do I keep... Uh, next up is number three. Grace. <laughs> so this really one's at full health, and player. this one is by you. So it's going to attack you. Um, I have to pass an 18, right? That is not going to pass. It's a 4. <laughs> Alright. So that's a 4 on dice. There's no way I'm going to pass. Uh, Callie. Acrobatics or athletics? I'm going to do acrobatics for obvious reasons. I'm going to RKO this man into the river. <laughs> I just imagine you like grabbing him and just like you make a flip and then you go whoosh. <laughs> Please pass. I'm giving you advantage because I think total of twenty one. A total of twenty one. Okay, you grab this dude. This is the father, right? Well, he's on my wrist, so it's just yeah. <laughs> you you have this dude, and um, <laughs> you kind of just like you do a cool little flip going on, like you know, and you like. You grab his other, or like grab his head. You flip over, and as your your momentum carries him, and you throw him into the river. This was Jordan's plan. So the river automatically grabs him and drags him in. So that for therefore you do not actually end up killing him, but he is gone. There's no way he's returning. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a really fun. Well game. done. You just doomed him to like eternal torment. Yeah. Um, Does number three react in any way to that? Take inspiration. I liked that a lot. <laughs> we never got inspiration in our last campaign. And I, I don't think inspiration one. ever had. I don't even know how that how works. Do do? In inspiration is just a button click on D&D Beyond yep, in the top it. corner. Yeah. Um, it, it just gives you an advantage on anything that you choose. <laughs> oh, okay. And does it last until I use it or until long rest? Oh. Until you use, use it, it. And you can only have one at a time. Yeah. Um, does number three react to last in any way? Uh, yeah, actually. Totally horrified. I have a string of words for you. Oh. Because number three, oh, he does not have his words. Sad. Um. He he looks at Jordan, or he looks at Callie, and he goes, "They said we could have our fingers." 
Then they slit our throats to make sure we could never tell anyone. As he has an accent because I need a different voice. <laughs> he studied abroad. <laughs> um, so, he kind of like looks at you guys. And it is now Quinn's turn. The one that was in between. Three is in front of you, right? Yes. Three is in between me and my spiritual life. I don't think we're going to get where I want today, but yeah, you know what? This, this, is, this, this has been really life. good. This is awesome. 15 minute um, my life. I could have moved it off to the minute side minute, by by the way. Way. my last. Yeah, I know. I saw. If you want it. It works for me. I don't okay. mind. Uh, I'm going to run up to number three. Number three. And I'm going to bite him. Just gonna straight With up bite him. With advantage, because Alistair is right there. Oh, you have one thing with something. Pack? Pack tactics. Uh, what was it? It's five? like an yeah. advanced form of flanking where you don't have to be directly across. 21 to hit. Okay, yeah, you, you hit this bitch. Okay, once again, gonna bite. You hit the man. Nom, nom, nom. Yeah, basically. You're going to <laughs> chew. Um. Fourteen. Uh, um, so you do not kill him, but he is very bloody. Okay. So um, if he's not said dead. Fourteen. Correct. Yes. Okay. Um. So if he's not dead, he needs to make a DC thirteen to save. Otherwise, he is prone. Um. Good news, everyone. The Ember Alert has been found. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's what we just mm-hmm. passes. Okay, fine. Then he's still stuck. Okay. Well, I'm hoping Tobin will deliver his ending blow. <laughs> uh, I swing my mace down at him. Okay. Uh, I imagine that you like went and you bit his arm and it came off. Uh, oh my. <laughs> oh boy, a chew toy. Just kidding, um, I spit it out. <laughs> that guy didn't get to keep his fingers. Well, he doesn't have fingers, though. He already did not have fingers. Oh. No, his fingers. Number two had the fingers. How does a plus one mace work? Do I get more? Uh, you get plus, plus one to attack and damage. And damage. Oh, and? Okay. My bad. Oh, okay. In that case, 14. In that case, I rolled a 14. You hit him. Yes. Roll your damage, please. 1d6 plus 3. Oh, wait, plus 4. I, I don't know. God damn it! My attack rolls suck. 5. Which is the minimum I could have rolled. He does not have that Plus 1. Yes, that's. It would have been 4 otherwise. 5 is fine. Oh, good. Um. So, how would you like to deliver the killing blow at the end of the battle? Well, after I hit him, I was wondering. I, well, I was wondering if I could like. Qu- like everyone went into the river. If as he's dying, if I could quickly cast spare the dying and be like, any last words? Um. And then, like, depending on what he says, I'll either let him die peacefully, or I'll just hurt. I will hurt. I will baseball bat him into the river. This is. He looks at you and he says. I had to watch my brothers and father get their fingers chopped off. And as they chipped away at my brother for building the chains, all I could do is watch. Please know our story. And that's all he says. I'm sorry. I will make your death a quick one. And then, uh... I don't know, what's a good humane way to kill him? Just him into eat the him river. into the river. <laughs> yeah, eat him into the river. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> that would be messed up. That would be three of the four that just succumbed to the river. Listen, it's humane because he gets to join his family. <laughs> <laughs> you can just stab him. Swift okay, one. I'll do that. Be a good one. If that's the best way to go back. I do have a dagger, so I'll do that. Okay, where do you want to stab him? I don't know. Heart. Just the heart. Yeah, okay. sure. You stab him in the heart, and as you do, he like... Uh, the other one crumbled pretty fast. He slowly. It's a very Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. <laughs> 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 exactly. Oh, shoot. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, so that's the end of the fight scene. That's.
Now, if he would have been a dick to me, I totally would have baseball batted him into the river, but he wasn't a dick, so. Uh, and I would have cast the pitch for you. So, quick bit of clarification. The four dwarves were being forced to make something? Was forced that to make chains. He forced. said chains. I only mean that. Well. By Dragonborn. By Dragonborn. Yeah. You should have asked which tr tribe of Dragonborn. I don't know. Obviously the chromatics. They they were just associating with Dragonborn. It was obviously the chromatic Dragonborn. Well, shall we see if Charon is back? Do we see a boat? Do we see if Charon is back? Yes. Uh, right as you finish stabbing one, uh, or I wanted to comment on the I wanted to comment on the Arcea. Can we loot anything from the dust? When when the Arcea happens, do we see the boat? Huh? The Arcea I wanted. Happens, can we see the boat? No, it's not in the RKO, it's when he stabs, no. you see... No, I wanted, I wanted yeah. to see if someone, if someone else would have commented on what I just did. No, they're not paying attention. Damn fights it. happen all the time. Damn it. Okay. I mean, you can comment and say something, but fights happen all the time, so... Okay, when, when the RKO happens, I call out in an announcer voice, RKO. <laughs> <laughs> What's an RKO? <laughs> so Art, use thaumaturgy to make it even louder. What the someone in the audience... Or in the crowd, goes, oh, okay. RKO? Because okay. RKO is a modern day term. The magic RKO. Yeah, oh, the magic <laughs> RKO. Okay, cool. Oh, that's what we have yeah, to that's about. right, that's right. Uh, um, uh, he, Tron, Garon, eventually returns and takes you guys across. He doesn't really speak. Did he take our drachma? Yeah, he takes one of your drachma. So, uh, yeah, my, my hand kind of so, hurts. When what? you look at him closely, uh, you notice that his mouth is, like, sealed shut. Oh, I'm going to try. That's not actually a thing. Bef not a, before I, I notice. I don't, I, don't I don't have a voice for him right now, so. I'm so, I look at the wound. It's not a wound. On, on, oh. My hurt hand. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Hey, Torben, could you, could you help this? I don't have anything for it. My name is Toven, but yes, oh. I can help. <laughs> okay. Looks like a pretty nasty bite. I agree. But that was a cool I one. hope he does not have magic rabies. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to make a medicine check for magic rabies. <laughs> Great, now it's become candy. Go ahead, roll. Let's now it's see become it. a baby. Great. Twelve. There is no magic rabies. <laughs> <laughs> Jenna, what did you want to do? You were going to say something. I would like to try telepathically speaking to Carol. Ooh. Just to see if he responds. <laughs> hey, Carol. <laughs> Go ahead. Give it a shot. <clears throat> Hello? Hello. <laughs> okay, Adele. <laughs> Um, is it beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be ominous, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, there's <laughs> that. Yeah, shoot. Um, I like you, just because you're quiet. Thank you. Get off my boat. <laughs> Don't get you off my boat! Get off the shore. <laughs> I respect that. <laughs> and telepathy. <laughs> Are there any lamps or anything? Uh, on the boat? Or on yeah. the other side of the river? On the boat, on the other side of the river? Anywhere? Uh, no, he just kinda, it's, it's a dark cloaked anywhere. figure. I guess I didn't say that. Like, lamps anywhere that I can see. As we get off the boat, I thank Charon. Thank you, Charon, for the lovely ride. It does nothing because you don't have to tell it. Tell it. So, he can't. He, surely he hears me at least, quick, though. Oh, okay, yeah. He just kind of nods at you, and he has a giant stick. And he's quick like, question: right? Do we have any visual impairment because it is dark? Do we have trouble seeing down here? No, it's not dark. It's unnaturally lit, but there's no lamps. Okay. No. So would it? It wouldn't really do much if I were to ignite something as a torch and use no. it. It's like it's like there's sunlight. It's just unnaturally. Lit. It's the underworld. There's magic here, guys. I believe we need to find Persephone now. Um, who should be near Cerberus. Mist, I guess I should show some of this. As you guys break through the mist, you see Cerberus and a beautiful Earth Genesee standing there. Genesee? 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 Genesee. Genesee. 
Thank you. Sorry, terrible with words. Uh, Genasi. I yell puppy. Um, she she as you guys approach, she's waving at you. She's very friendly. She's I wave back. Spring. I wave oh, that's back. A nice change of pace. Yeah. So, um, she goes. Hello there. How are you doing? So the complete polar opposites. <laughs> I hate her. <laughs> Hello, way. you must be Lady Persephone. Oh, yes, do you guys have the steaks for service? You're so hungry. Right here, lady, my lady. Oh, okay, you want to buy a steak? He grabs it, or she grabs it, and she tosses <laughs> one into each of them. She goes, Good evening, I know you guys have traveled very far. Huh? You guys must be hungry. And as she says that, you guys hear your stomachs growl. Yes, time works differently in the underworld, so it's... Pretty late up there, but you guys are down there. Up, no, up in the real world. Oh, okay. But it's still kind of like your body's functioning. Mm -hmm. right? mm. So she's like, "Well, we can go into the castle. It looks like a regular gothic castle, even though that's not actually canon in this realm right now because uh, technically." Is there an abnormally looking nice chair in the room? Uh, and she leads you guys into a dining room. Describe the castle because I'm trying to get to important information. Okay, cool. Is there a corpse guys. sitting on a throne? <laughs> no. In the in the dining room, there is a large feast laid out for you guys. Um, she goes. I heard that you guys met the guards. Aren't they lovely people? Oh my gosh! I'm just so excited you're here. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we're having some issues and we can't find Thanatos. So we need you guys to find him. We have nothing on him right now. Um, we have all the gods and goddesses looking for him, and we can't find him. So, if you guys could help us, <laughs> he's come up. He's very important because we need people to die, or else they'll just keep coming back with life on Earth. So, yeah. And as that happens, you see a cloaked figure with winged shoes run into the room, yelling, I have a note! A note! And it tells... And that's all he says. It's Hermes. Good job. Winged shoes. <laughs> I think the winged shoes gave that away. Yep, that was yeah. the point. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that's where this wraps up this episode of Tavern Heroes. If you enjoyed, please follow on whatever platform you listen on. You can also catch us live every other Thursday at twitch.tv slash argos101media. As always, good luck and have fun.
have the same vision. They are in a dark cave in an astral form. They see each other, but are not able to speak with one another. In the cave, they see a young child spinning a wheel of golden thread. It goes to a middle-aged woman in white. The woman would then measure the string for the last woman in the room. The third woman is an elderly woman who looks to be on the cusp of death. Oh, shit. These are the sisters of fate, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I like, the, I like the, the realization you had. I did a lot of research just, for this campaign. Just I, I, loved, I loved your, your, your face slowly started to process it more and more. It's like... <laughs>